Welcome to the Spy Collection. My name is Anastasius and today we'll have a look at a covert audio listening device. During the 80s and the 90s, the AID or Audio Intelligence Devices was the world's largest manufacturer of electronic surveillance devices. And one such example is that one. This device was disguised as a pager. And for people that might not know that, let's have a brief overview of what pagers were. Before the mobile phones became as popular as they are today, the only way to reach out to someone was something like this one. Those devices were clipped on the belt, and Motorola was one of the big manufacturers at that time. And by calling a certain number, you could send messages that were displayed in that display over here. Usually it costs something like a pre-agreed code or a phone number to call in. Because of that, in the 80s and early 90s, it was very popular for people to be walking around wearing devices like that in their belts. Of course, as we progressed the mobile phones, those devices became obsolete since now you had access to technologies such as SMS messages, and the ability to call anyone that you wanted. Now that was the inspiration of the AID to create this device. A disguised display pager voice transmitter. The model TX788. This device was manufactured in 1992. And as you read here, it was a crystal controlled single channel VHF FM voice transmitter that operates within a frequency range of 150 to 174 megahertz. The radio frequency power output of the TX788 is half watt. The undercover agent would just have to wear this like a lot of people around that time. And not only that, actually this device also has a simulation mode where it displays messages that make it appear like a legitimate Motorola pager. However, it has nothing to do with that. If we unlock it and open it, you might be able to see that inside it clearly says model TX788. Serial number 2994. So with a very quick inspection, it was apparent that this is not a legitimate pager. How it was used? It was that the undercover operative was having this device on their belt and they were watching nearby whoever they want to have under surveillance. If at any point they had to demonstrate that this was not a fake device and was a real legitimate pager, they could just click on silent and that was displaying messages that you would normally see on a real pager, like having a new message or the time or the status of the device. However, the moment the device was switched on, it was automatically enabling the transmitter. On the top side, you see those two buttons. Actually, only this is a real button. This is the reset button when you have it in simulation mode to silence the pager alert tone and clear the display. However, this one is the microphone. It has a small grill over here. So the operative had to ensure that this is close to the direction of the people they want to have under surveillance. This device is an excellent example of what professional intelligence agencies would be using in the late 80s and early 90s for covert surveillance operations. Of course, as its name implies, this is a transmitter which means it has no storage capabilities. So nearby the surveillance officer that is nearby their target, there has to be a listening post or LP. That LP could be hidden in a vehicle, in a hotel nearby, 
or anywhere else where they could easily have a receiver where they can receive anything transmitted from that device and record it permanently on a storage device like a tape. And that gives you also better perspective of how those operations were working in practice. You need to have one or more LPs and of course one or more officers that could approach the surveillance targets to gather this intelligence. And that was the AID model TX788, a disguised display pager voice transmitter that was used by government agencies during the late 80s and early 90s for covert surveillance operations. Now, anytime you see someone walking around with a more modern version of that, maybe a mobile phone, maybe an MP3 player, or any other electronic device, think twice because nothing is as it seems.